Did you know that some of the top athletes in the world use manifestation to improve their, their performance? And the thing is, you can do it just as easily as they do. So stick around, let's talk about how that works. Hi, I'm Marna and thank you for joining me. So let me tell you about a guy named Jim Thorpe. Now in 1912, Jim was participating in the Olympics and he was a runner. He was a really good runner, you know, representing the U.S. And he was traveling across the ocean to where the Olympics were. And his trainer looked at him and said, uh, Jim, I'm going to need you to do two events, not one. It's sort of an Olympic requirement. You have to do two events. Jim had the duration of that ocean voyage to come up with a second event at an Olympic quality. He was a runner. This was not something he was used to doing. But Jim knew about visualization and he understood how manifestation works. So Jim sat down on a deck chair and he put down a piece of tape 23 feet and 8 inches away. And his trainer looked at him and said, what are you doing? You're an idiot. And Jim said, no, I just did the broad jump. The world record is 23 feet and 2 inches. I just did 23 feet and 3. I can win this. And he focused on that for the entire voyage to the Olympic venue. And when Jim got there, the first time he physically did a broad jump ever, he set a new world record. He went on to win the entire pentathlon of events and then the septathlon. All because Jim understood that what we appear to be doing without is really a mind game. So what we do to manifest a physical change, like suddenly being able to do a world record broad jump, is we believe. And you have to believe hard. You have to be willing to completely silence that voice of doubt that's sitting there going, you're an idiot. There's no way this is going to work. We live in a very skeptical society, so it's a lot harder to do, the, to do that now than it was back when Jim was doing his ocean voyage. But it's still just as possible. Now, athletes today, are still using these same techniques. Again, it's just like any other form of manifestation. Get someplace where you can focus. Put your mind in a state where your conscious mind and your subconscious mind are talking to each other. You do this through deep breathing. So breathe in, hold it, and release. Do this three or four times and you'll feel the tension starting to relieve your body as your brain is shifting away from being in the future conscious version to being solely in the present. That's when your conscious mind is connecting to your subconscious mind. Then bring up the feeling. The feeling of this is done. I've already done this. I overcame this challenge. I succeeded at this. Hold on to that feeling. Then add in a visualization. Very simple visualization. What is the goal and what are you doing? Are you physically putting a basketball through a hoop? Are you physically catching a football? Are you physically doing a 23 foot broad jump? Are you physically running a mile further than you normally do? Are you looking at your phone and seeing the path of the trail that you normally take and seeing that you did it in half the time? What is your visualized end goal to achieve? And focus. Focus hard. You are rewiring not just your brain but your entire nervous system to change the way your muscles respond. 
focus on the result. Your body's going to do the rest of the work but without you even knowing it. Focus on the result. And these results will do the impossible. This is the technique that I used to learn to walk again after four years of being in a wheelchair with a degenerative spinal condition that officially I still have. I haven't been in that wheelchair since 2012. Focus on your goal. Is your goal to walk the six steps from your bed to the bathroom without having to crawl? Is your goal jogging in half the time? Is your goal keeping up with your grandchildren? Is your goal having what it takes to make it from morning to night during the day? Visualize achieving that goal. Not the obstacle, not the challenges, the sense of it is done. I did this. I accomplished this. I did this already. And it will work. Tell yourself, when you open your eyes after your visualization session, tell yourself, this is my truth. This is my reality. And believe it. This is one of those where doubt will kill your manifestation. So, if you need to, you know, do what I do, uh, the video that I did earlier on how to f enhance your belief in your manifestations, go watch that. Focus, persist, and believe, and your manifestation will come about, just like any other manifestation. And you don't just take my word for it, take the words of the athletes. So, I am Marna. Thank you for joining me, and I will see you on the next video. Boober would like to remind you to please boop the like button. Thank you.